Hey everybody, how's it going? Jonathan here. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over the OpenAI uh, library using Python. And I'm going to show you how to uh, create, to ask a question and then get a, and basically get an answer. And if you're reading this video, if you're watching this video rather, the, uh, the title of this video is going to be generated by the code that we're about to uh, execute. So to go over th this code, uh, this is the, the library we're importing. This other one, this key import, is just a file over here where I'm storing my key, my uh, API key. And then we set our open.api underscore key equal to our key. So now we can now we can call the open AI uh, uh, API. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you're enjoying this video, if you get anything out of it, please hit the like button and please subscribe. I'm trying to speed run to 1,000 subscribers. So uh, please subscribe. I'm, I'm kind of begging you here. <laughs> I'm only got 250 subs. Uh, it's, it's quite a grind, man. I mean, 100, over 100 videos. Anyway, getting back to the response. So you have to set these variables in your response. And to, to call it, so there's a bunch of different methods inside of open.api where we can do open AI dot, uh, you know, what is it, image, you know, that will, that will generate an image, uh, you know, you can just go down the list here, answer, classification, customer, you know, you can see here all the, all the methods within, but we're going to use this completion method right here, which is open AI dot completion dot create. And into it, we have to pass a few variables. So we have to define the engine. The engine is uh, something that you could probably go and uh, make a whole video about. That's a lot of it has to do with performance, and uh, you kind of want to choose the engine that is uses as least, uh, you know, that's as fast as possible for for your application and, and still giving you the re required results. But but this text dash da Vinci dash 002. This is, is the most overhead intensive engine, but also the, the best. Okay, and then your prompt. So generate a YouTube video title about using open AI completion. So we're gonna ask it to, to generate me this, this title. The temperature is, uh, is basically creativity. So if you're asking a question that's uh, super, uh, like has one answer like there's it's not open to interpretation which my prompt is open to interpretation uh you know you probably want to do about 0.7 uh but but if you have a very very specific question like what's the capital of of puerto rico or something like that then you could just put it one but well and we'll test we'll test that one next actually after i generate the uh the video title uh max tokens these other four frequency penalty pre presence penalty uh, those are these are all entire videos on their own about how they work, uh, and and you can you can uh, check out the API yourself. I'll put a link below, and then we print the response. So we're storing the response here. So let's run it and let's see what OpenAI decides to name my t my uh, my video. It's going to be using the OpenAI completion API to improve productivity. Oh wow, I don't really like that. What, let's set the temperature to uh, 0 0.095, or 0 0.95 rather. See if it if it accepts that. Set the temperature to that, maybe it'll be a better. Using the OpenAI completion API to get things done faster. Yeah, maybe. But what happens if I do 0 0.05? Really low temperature. How to use the OpenAI completion API to set, <laughs> to suggest completions for your text? I mean, that is vague, right? But it's sometimes you want vague. So these are questions you have to ask yourself. And rather than having to go back uh, to all the different, you know, rerunning, I'm just gonna set n equals to 10. I'll get 10 responses here. We'll see how different each one of these are. How to use the OpenAI completion API to complete your own projects. How to use the Open API completion API to suggest completions for your tests to complete your own projects. Yeah, wow. Uh, it seems to be quite, uh, you know, not 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 a ton of uh, variation. Uh, 
Maybe we can just do this, open AI completion API, how to use. <laughs> open AI completion with hugging face, the, fe the future of AI, what the heck? Yeah, we'll, we'll do this one. So this is it. This is my new, uh, that's the title for my video there. And, you know, and, and I want to go back and see, you know, what is the capital of Puerto Rico? What's the capital? Does it just answer the question? The capital of Puerto Rico is San Juan. San Juan. What happens if I drop this to 0 0.01? Maybe 0, 0, 001. Maybe 0, 0, 002. Because I, I have fat fingers. See? Still, it's there's no there's no ambiguity to that. So yeah, so that's how you use a completion API uh, using OpenAI. So thank you, for, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, click the like button. Leave me a comment uh, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.